eight times. Hey, Robert. I didn't realize uh, John's probably doing seven things, and so is Sam. Can you uh, have um, Scott take out the card of wax that we bought? That'd be great. Did you mean to move? Do you see Brandon Hillary's uh, comment? No. None of us will be a CSI anytime soon. <laughs> Dano, it went for 50 a box, or you bid 50 a box? I met Jimmy the Heart. I also met uh, Ted DiBiase, Hacksaw Jim Duggan at a comic a Comic Con event in New York City a couple years ago. Uh, literally, Hacksaw Jim Duggan sitting there with a small booth. He'll sign two by two by fours for you. <laughs> I can't make it up. Because <laughs> I thought he was like building his booth, and I said, "What's all this?" He said, "Oh, you want one? I'm like what? One of what? <laughs> two by four, of course." No, but I'd like to talk about that. Interesting. And where did, where did she meet Hacksaw? Like, was she ringside for an event or she met him at a bar? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Like, no, I didn't. Matter of fact, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for mentioning. Um, so this is interesting, Lou. So for those that are curious, um, you know, I know my, I would imagine you probably weren't involved in this, but interesting to mention it is hobby related. So StockX, which is the platform for sneakers generally, is starting to get into cars just a little bit. Tops produced an exclusive product. I think they call it, you know, 2019 Bowman Chrome X, and it just um, sold on the StockX website. And roughly speaking, the way they did it was they offered all the quantity they had. And they were going to sell um, after the uh, they were going to sell it all after the price was established. So they didn't know what the price was. Ben from YouTube just said um, the final price was fifty dollars for a box or three hundred dollars for I guess a six box case. I'm curious if anyone out there has actually started opening it yet um, and what you think of the product. It was an interesting way, Lou, um, in terms of distribution. Meaning, Tops made it, but they didn't actually sell it. They didn't give it to any of their distributors. They didn't give it to any ho hobby shops. They exclusively did a deal with StockX, the company, and released this brand new Bowman Chrome X product through the StockX website, which I thought was very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this is going to be 77 Tops Hockey Wax Pack number 84. Anyone out there uh, in the last week since we've seen you picked up anything for your vintage collection? Did you pick up a card from eBay? I have a few cards coming in. Um, thanks for asking. It was great. Um, Dr. Adzik, who actually, uh, he has done the most pancreatectomies in the world. Uh, he did the pancreatectomy of my son when he was about 10 days old. Uh, he was there. He actually bid on and won during the live auction the Yogi Berra bat that I donated, um, but it was signed, it ain't over till it's over, which is kind of a tough, tough bat. Um, and it seems that generally every year he wins the um, expensive sports item I donate. Um, and, uh, you know, his wife has kind of given me like the eye when we walked in because he came right over to me and, you know, realize like there's a lot of his colleagues are there, you know, people he probably hasn't seen in years. And I mean, I was there for the quote unquote VIP hour because I'm an auctioneer. And I mean, you could see he comes in, does like a straight beeline to me. And you see his wife's very tall. It's very hard to miss. You could see her go like this. And I'm like, I I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't, she doesn't have to buy it. Um, but really, he was, uh, he was great. And then um, Dr. DeLeon was there, uh, which is Crosby's um, doctor at CHOP, as well as the, uh, I believe, the, um, uh, the lead doctor, uh, the entire company the entire country in terms of treating uh, congenital hyperinsulinism. And believe it or not, even with all those accolades, she was still uh, the person who called us the day after that we called CHOP when we found out um, when Crosby was in Julie's belly still uh, that he was going to potentially have this condition. She called us. She didn't have an assistant call us. Uh, she didn't have, you know, a nurse call us. She called us um, herself. And, you know, we'll forever be grateful for that.
Now, well, I know there isn't. In fact, um, so our good buddy, uh, Mark Zablo, he's the owner of Cogent, uh, a marketing firm in New York City, uh, and a friend of Vintage Breaks. We are collaborating on, I wouldn't say it's a big wrestling event, but we're trying to get a wrestling event to happen in the Northeast, where some of these wrestlers may already be at anyway, and then um, basically capitalize on that, and then open some packs with them, and really talk about, you know, cards and collecting, and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Plus, now they know we've worked with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We sent him the video. They thought it was hysterical. Yeah, well, usually... Yes, 100% for that, Lou. Um, usually, uh, they said um, that they typically don't have folks asked to be put in a wrestling move. So they thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I found that surprising, too. I'm like thinking, you know, if I met The Undertaker, I'd be like, listen, you gotta, you know... You got to show me, like, the chokehold or yeah. something. Got a tombstone? Yes, totally. Yeah. We're going to, by the way, volunteer you, Lou, because I'm not really that interested in being table slammed, but I now have on record that you are. Uh... <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, please. And it hurts.